First up, today marks International Holocaust Day as the world commemorates and pays tribute to the victims of the Holocaust. The date marks the anniversary of the liberation of the Nazi death camp Auschwitz-Birkenau. Yet, among Israel's estimated 165,000 survivors, roughly one in three are living in poverty. This according to a survivors advocacy group. To discuss this important issue, we're joined by Joseph Gitler, founder and chairman of Leket Israel. Mr. Gitler, you founded the National Food Bank and as a food rescue organization, how many Holocaust survivors are you seeing in need of assistance? Uh, we see tens of thousands of Holocaust survivors in need of assistance. We do what we can to help, but we're thankful that there's so many other NGOs making sure to help and take care of those needy survivors. And how exactly do you help them? So Leket's particular purpose is we rescue excess food that would normally go to waste. So we provide survivors with uh, high quality, safe, nutritious meals that are coming from hotels and army bases and corporate cafeterias. In addition, we um, provide fruits and vegetables that we rescue from farmers throughout the country. And our newest initiative focused on the elderly, many of whom are survivors in this case, is making soups, which we deliver along with the meals to survivors throughout the country. That's really good to hear. Can you tell me maybe a personal story, something, what's the worst case you've ever seen of a Holocaust survivor living in poverty? Well, I think one of the worst cases we've seen was recently highlighted on this station, a 91-year-old Holocaust survivor in Jerusalem, uh, just living in abject poverty, no family, and just forgotten. No one kind of knew about her. And her apartment, what it looked like, I had never seen anything like that in my life, certainly not in a Western country like Israel. She didn't have enough food to eat. Uh, her toilet wasn't working properly. The walls were peeling. Her refrigerator was empty. We could go on and on. It was just horrifying to see. And hopefully we'll never see another instance to that level again. Like you, like you said, this is a Western state. How, how has this situation been allowed to occur and in the Jewish state as well? And why do you think the government <sighs> haven't done more to protect the few remaining survivors? So I think it's a complicated issue. I'm going to try to spell it out in a couple different ways. So first of all, the government of Israel uh, distributes about $1.2 billion a year to survivors throughout the country. In addition, there are other payments that come from foreign governments. That may sound like a lot of money, but when you start doing the math, you realize that in the Israel of today, with inflation and with the high cost of living and housing, that money is just not sufficient. And so outside factors, which maybe weren't thought about when these sums were negotiated, uh, have come into play. I'll add to that also is, you know, in the last 30 to 40 years, the most Holocaust survivors that have moved to Israel have come from Russia. And the Russians were, uh, elderly Russians who were survivors were particularly poor, uh, very small savings. Their pensions that they may have brought from Russia were nearly meaningless in this country. So there's a lot of goodwill. There's a lot, there is money coming to survivors, but I think like everything that we face in the NGO world, it's never enough. And that's why there's so many charities like Leket and many of our partners who are trying to, in addition, you know, help these survivors live in dignity in the limited years that they have left. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you so much for all your work there. Joseph Gitler, founder and chairman of Leket Israel. Thank you. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.